What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, coming in. And I just want to talk to you about, I want to talk to you about something that's in the media. Um, I was reading an article last night. People are leaving New York City, uh, the Upper West Side. People are leaving because they're trying to get away from this daggone plague. Now... I don't know how far that's going to get them. I don't know if it's going to stop anything. But they are leaving the Upper West Side. Now, when I say Upper West Side, that's like up there where people have money. You know, they have like the good jobs. They have, That's the money place. Um, and they're leaving to go to the Hamptons. They're leaving to go to like Catskills. <clears throat> um, what else? What other place they said? Um, just a place to get away from a city life basically just to get away from city life now i understand that they are afraid of this thing that's going on and they want they're trying to get escape it but at some point you're not going to be able to escape it especially if you don't know your status okay if you don't know your status or if you went to a doctor and he checked you out and he said hey you you good then i can see okay you know what before be, before i'm not good let me let me um break up out of here so People are leaving. They are leaving the Upper West Side apartments, okay, and escaping and and, and going to homes to their, to their other homes and renting homes. Uh, I think the rent in Catskills to rent a house out there up there is like three thousand dollars a month. Um, some people already had homes in Hamptons and you know Pocono area, um, Catskills, all that kind of stuff. With basically not that many people. So let me ask you something, homies. Do you think that's a wise choice that they're making? Or do you think that they're not going to be able to escape this? At some point, it's going to be everywhere. Well, I would like for... I, I hope... I hope that this doesn't get too much worse than it is. Um, because... It's starting to take a toll on me. And what I mean by that is the more I read the newspaper and the articles and online, the I, I just be, I'm I'm just I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid for my grandmother and one's trying to keep her out of distance. Uh but she doesn't go out anyway, so she's good. Um I'm afraid for my older kids, you know, because they have jobs. They work in New York City, they have um, so, you know, their jobs are essential. They have to be out there. Um, my son works for transit. He has to be to work. So I, all I can do is say, listen, you guys, be, please be careful. You know, it's just, I think about it, but I can't drive myself crazy. I can't panic because I have two boys at home. And I don't want them to see me panic. All right. My husband, he has to go out and work out there. I worried about him. I can't panic, you know, so I'm trying to keep myself together and I'm trying to not look at the media, the news so much because I don't want to bring you guys bad news. So that's why I have been doing different conversations over here. I'll give you some news that I think is ridiculous, you know, to take your mind off of what's going on, but I'm not going to sit here and get and be the carrier of bad news to you guys, especially about the play. First of all, YouTube don't want you talking about the play um, at all. So I try to stay away from that. I usually talk about that kind of stuff on my Instagram, which is at Gossip Girl BK. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you're welcome to it. Um, I put up more stuff about that kind of stuff over there. Because YouTube, mm -mm. you know, they don't want you, you barely have freedom of speech over here. Also, I'm also worried about a friend. Um, we always talk on Instagram almost every day, like clockwork. You know, she's three hours behind me. Um, and, you know, I just, I haven't heard from her. And to go this long without hearing from her, I'm kind of worried. And um, she's also, she's sick, you know, she's, she's sick. She has no immune system, so I'm worried about her. Um, but I know she'll be okay. Um, she did tell me 
that you know if it got to the point where they had to like really leave where she would go i'm not going to disclose that but she told me where she would go so i'm thinking so i'm thinking okay maybe that's where she went because i can't get a hold of her and it's not like it's not like her not to answer my calls on my instagram message um videos so I'm, I'm worried about her you know but as soon as i hear from her i'll be okay you know i try to keep in contact with uh my family i tell my husband to call your mom you know she's an older woman just to make sure everybody's okay to get through this i think we all need to know what's going on but at the same time we need to stop looking at the media so much because the media is going to drive us insane. The media is going to drive us crazy. Okay. Sometimes you got to pull back from it and regroup. So if you feel like you're getting anxiety a lot because what's going on in the news and you watch the news a lot, shut it off. Find a movie to watch. Find something uplifting. This is the time to bring out those dang on Christmas movies. Look at those. Those are the most joyful movies at this point watch um some comedy i'll give you one that you'll love to watch harlem nights watch harlem nights i mean we you got to get your mind off of it some kind of way but don't be blind to it just get enough information and pull back but anyway you guys um so i just want to know do you think that escape by escaping where the bulk of the issue is to another place where there's hardly none or even very small chance of getting or whatever the case may be do you think that you can escape this plague can you escape it by going living or moving somewhere else for a temporary life if you think so let me know in the comment section if you don't think so let me know in the comment section because these people is they are picking up leaving like crazy and i'm like wow they are leaving. They going to the Catskills. They going to the Hamptons. They going to, but these are people with money that could afford to leave. You know, when you have money like that, and you could afford to leave your Upper West Side apartments to go somewhere else where you probably have a home there that's been passed down to you, or you just have a home there just to go for relaxation for a family house or whatever. You can do those things. But people who don't who don't have that kind of money have to stay where they are and deal with the issue at hand okay well, not all of us have that luxury we don't all have mansions to be going to the other side of the house if someone gets sick we don't have that option so let me know in the comment section what you guys think and i will talk to you later